I, I don't know, but we have four or five Onis. It's, it's funny like that. Are you ready? Fight. Now we got the two evil, evil shows yeah. up against uh, In the beginning of this matchup, in the beginning of any evil Ryu matchup, it's a little bit even just because of the fact that Ryu he doesn't have the meter. He doesn't have the meter. Combos yet. And he gets infinitely more dangerous when he has two bars because of just the raw damage he can get off of that. Let's see, though, if Joe can convert that. He's new to Evil Ryu, so he might not have those combos down. Evil Ryu is pretty executionally heavy. He's not easy by any means. His BNB is... Yeah. His BNB is, it involves a specific lot of focus canceling, <laughs> um, proper link timing. It's not easy. Let's see if he goes for it. Goes for the FADC, oh, and he drops, drops it. it. Just like that. That's just lack of character familiarity right there. You can't do anything about that, except for go something easier. If you don't have those combos, you have to just keep it simple. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't go for the stun reset if you can't do the stun reset. Exactly. All right. Let's on see. the other hand, showing again his trademark, really good patience paid off for him in that round. Really good patience. Um, you know, ironically, a lot of Dallas players have really good patience, even though I don't have that <laughs> that character trait. I, I wish I did, but I don't. But for the most part, Dallas players players are really patient. And I'm, I'm actually very proud of our players because right. of that. Uh, let's see if Joe can keep it up. Yeah. We both got loaded six of oh, butter. Okay. And he oh, drops and he again. The focus attack Goes for the throw reset, again. but he throws a lot of. He's leaving damage on the table. He's giving up guaranteed damage for another guess. Right. Uh, waste the bar right oh, there, in okay. my opinion. I don't think he should have gone. Slash all the way through that fireball. And yeah, Boykin was on the verge of his chip there, and Joe yeah. just tagged him with the crouching medium. If Ryu, his crouching medium kip, it's an excellent tool if you know what you're doing with it because of its range. However, it does have more delay than other Shota medium kicks. So if the other player is expecting it, it is oh. easy to punish. Interesting uh, FADC that's from Boykin. I'm not sure what he was going for. And he drops it again. Joe is 0 for 2 on those combos. Right. He, uh, oh, he, he gets, gets it this time. time. He keeps it simple, doesn't go for the double FADC, doesn't try to go for the stun reset, just maintains his pressure. Good throw tech by Boykin, no but Joe doesn't punish, that, punish yeah. the, the, the jumping thing from Oni, the whatever it's yeah, called. The ground pound, whatever. It's ground something pound. in Japanese. So something I've noticed uh, Boykin is doing, right, he does a lot of anti-airs just using normals, but that's really dangerous for the character like Evil Ryu with a really big uh, dive kick and really Window. slow... Really slow uh, Jump trajectory change. Absolutely, I agree with you. Um, so let's uh, see if Joe loves using normals, you have to use specific timing more. in anticipation of when the air normal is going to come in. Someone like Ryu, uh, you know, one of the most valuable traits in Street Fighter for characters is being able to change your jump art and your jump trajectory. Someone like Evil Ryu can do that fairly consistently. Right, but. Joe is a Cody player, not an Evil Ryu player. Yeah, so that's not something he's quite acclimated to just yet. Um, he's been dropping his combos. I really think Joe just needs to chill out with that and just let it rock. Right. Don't waste the bar. Bar with Ryu is good because, like Oni, he has a Raging Demon also that he can car right into. Exactly. He has the exact same option Oni does. There's no need to waste the bar. Uh, goes for something. I'm not... I yeah, he went for a kick throw, but he was a little too far away. Yeah. He didn't get really get the take in the first place. Yeah, he could have FADC'd right there. Misses oh, his chance. very good wow. conversion from Boykin. <laughs> Lucky for Joe, he is up a game, so he's definitely still alive. Don't know if he's going to consider switching to Cody if he loses this. Yeah, I mean, I'm even sure though he's dropping back with some head, combos, it's working out for him. He's, he's really committed himself to Evil Ryu. Right. I think he feels like there's a lot more vertical potential playing this character right now and getting more permanent gains right. in Very the nice long DP run. There. Oh, However, he just gets jump Boykin the gets the full punish, and this just like that, close to a half of his oh, bar, for the throw. half of his life bar is gone. His dizzy count still up. Gets out yeah, of the pressure. It's probably gone by now, but it should be gone. But one touch, and Evil Ryu lost half his life bar. Right. Oh, unsafe slash, but no nope. punish. Excellent oh, conversion by Boykin. Oh, and nice. One. Oh, no. he went for the chip setup, but Joe Ryu has to make it happen. Too much health. Very oh. dangerous there from Boykin because. Oh, very nice frame trap. Wow. Oh, right into Dizzy. And he gets it. No, no. Oh, he drops oh, a combo, wow. but lucky. You got to close out. Lucky for Joe Lux. Unbelievable. Joe, Joe Lux out there. Now, don't get me wrong. That was a really good read by Joe. He got the touch he needed, and he finally landed an FADC combo. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then he didn't come and off then the Dizzy. He, uh, we call that giving up the pussy. 
giving up the cookie jar. When you got it in your hands and you just give it up. You can't do that. And Joe's getting the counter hits, but he's not capitalizing. Yeah, he has two really bars with Evil Ryu. Like he's not committing to his frame traps. He, he's not committing, and he has the bar to do so. Um, all right, guys. GG Onisan's out of here. Peace out, homie. Um, Joe has the bar. However, he's not He's not letting it rip when the opportunity presents right. itself. And, and he has getting to. a lot of mileage out of these slashes. But yeah. Joe Love does get the DP FADC Ultra 2. Not too much damage. One con oh, Wow, okay. that is a raw and read. Again, very close to Dizzy here. Excellent oh, throw tech. Even closer to death, really. But next touch by any character. Wow, he's so patient. patient. He's so oh, patient. The next touch wins. Next oh, unfortunately, Boykin gets two he dashes runs instead of into one. It. He went for the two dash, but you have to know that he was going for the demon. Right. He's not just going to dash like that with loaded bar. He dashes up, misses the demon, ends up getting another dash, and loses the match because of it. That...